So welcome to the Lena Launchpad class. If you're interested in the logistics on how to take this class, this Lecture Zero will describe it. But if you want to just get started, click on Lecture One. So the good news is there's actually four ways to watch these lectures. So a good way is to kind of watch them and use the Udacity discussion forums to interact with other people watching these lectures. Something that's better is these lectures are free and they don't really require any books or text. But there are books or texts, and then I would feel a little guilty not telling you that Alexander Osterwalder's Business Model Generation book is kind of the standard for understanding the business model canvas. And the Startup Owner's Manual, written by yours truly and my co-author Bob Dorf, is kind of the standard for customer development. But let me emphasize again, these are not required, and you can understand the lectures just fine without them, but they certainly help explain a lot of the detail in the 617 pages because it's almost an encyclopedia for startups. Enough of the ad, that's the last time I'll mention buying the text or books. Almost best is to actually watch these lectures, but this time form a startup team and actually think about, instead of just sitting in your office uh, or on your computer, actually be watching these as you start your company. Now the best way to actually watch these lectures is with facilitators and coaches and mentors. And the way you could do that is by physically taking the class with Startup Weekend Next. And if you go to the website, swnext.org, you could find out how to sign up in your city and town and participate as a team with groups of other teams physically week to week. And one of the reasons we kind of suggest that you, instead of just watching the lectures, actually get out of the building and do it, either by yourself or with your team or with Startup Weekend, is startups are not about lectures. And entrepreneurship is not about your grades, and this class is about the work you do outside the building after you watch the lectures, not how much the lectures you watch. Entrepreneurship is experiential, it's hands-on, and it's immediate and intense feedback. If you're doing more than just watching these lectures, one of the things you're going to be staring at a lot is the business model canvas. If you're watching this video, the first thing I suggest is stop go to businessmodelgeneration.com and download the canvas and print out a bunch of copies. Then go get a bunch of yellow stickies and a red pen because that's what you're going to be using for the next couple of weeks. Now what we actually do with the business model canvas is in week one you use those yellow stickies to put up all your hypotheses. Uh, you probably don't have many facts yet, but you can make some pretty good guesses about what's your value prop, who the customers are, what your channel is, and what your pricing is. But what we're going to be doing is really interesting, is as you come back in with facts, we're going to be marking up the canvas and crossing out the things that actually weren't true and replacing them with the things we've learned. And we're going to do that week after week until what we end up with is a stack of business model canvases. And what you'll find out is at the end of the class, you can actually play back these canvases almost like a film strip and see what you've learned over time. An optional piece of software is something called Launchpad Central at www.launchpadcentral.com. And Launchpad Central allows you to share your work, your customer discovery narrative, what you're doing outside the building with mentors and instructors and everybody else. Some of you might think, well, I don't want to share what I'm doing, but it's not sharing your IP or your great ideas. It's actually sharing what you've found out in testing your hypotheses, and it allows others to comment in real time. So in fact, you don't have to sit alone thinking about, am I on the right path, or was this the right strategy, etc. Launchpad Central uh, comes with the Startup Weekend program. It's uh, available to anybody else at launchpadcentral.com. It is not required for this class, but is a great resource if you're interested. So to prepare for watching these lectures, of course you could just hit the play button, but it actually would be helpful if you actually do some reading. And as I said earlier, there's optional reading, and you'll see this going forward after each lecture in the Startup Owner's Manual, pages 1 through 50, or in the Strategy Volume, uh, if it's an ebook, and in Business Model Generation, pages 14 to 49, completely optional. But what's available for free is, if you want to get a feel of the core strategy, how we're trying to teach this, and how we teach this in real life, you could go to steveblank.com, category slash lean launchpad, or just click on the link. You could also look at other students' presentations, and we have our students make two-minute QuickTime videos, which are summaries of their presentations as well. And you could see those at steveblank.com slash slides. 
But if you want to actively engage in the class, your first real homework is download that Osterwalder canvas and using yellow stickies, take a shot at actually filling out all your hypotheses on the business model canvas. And it's okay if you're just guessing because the whole class is about how do you turn those guesses into facts. So get ready, download the canvas, put on those yellow stickies, and then looking at those boxes, start figuring out who would you call on and who would you contact to start testing those hypotheses. And take a look for the first week at your value proposition and customer segment box. Who would you want to talk to to validate whether your idea about what features are important? And who would you talk to to validate that these are the customers you want to go after? And we're just getting you ready for the work you're going to do after the next lecture. See you soon.